Wow. That's impressive. So hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a used 2021 Ford F350 Tremor. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this F350 Tremor. Check out the inventory link below. Let's get straight into the video. So under the hood of this particular Tremor, we have the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. Power outputs with that engine are 475 horsepower and then 1,050 pound-feet of torque. And then it's all routed through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, as you can see, this Tremor is absolutely beautiful. But anyways, aside from the beautiful blue coloration, we've got the full LED lights and they have been darkened for the Tremor package. We've got the all blacked out grill with the darker badges. And then notice that this area as well is darker with the tow hooks. And then the bottom bumper is body painted. But yeah, overall, the Tremor just looks fantastic. Again, this blue color just really pops with the truck. So coming around the side here, we've got 285 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the back. And the wheels have been blacked out, another part of the Tremor package. And then the Tremor does get a two inch lift from the factory. And then you've got the upgraded shocks on top of that. Just gives it a really nice stance. And then we've got our blacked out F350 Lariat badge. We've got our 6.7 liter Power Stroke badge. Notice the top of the mirror is black as well. We've got our Tremor sticker there on the back end. And yeah, now you can really see the stance of the truck here from the side. Now popping here into the back, the payload capacity is 3,446 pounds with this particular Tremor. And then notice that we've got the full spray in bed liner here. We've got LED lights here in the back as well. And then those are for the cargo tie down hooks. And then you guys can see the camera there at the very top. And this one also does have Ford's bed step system. And well, that's all for that portion. Now going over the rest of the rear, again, you can see that we've got lots of blue happening back here. We've got the darker Ford badge. You've got the two exhaust tips sticking out the back. Got the giant LED taillights here on the back with the sensor in the center portion. And yeah, that's everything for the rear. So let's pop inside. Now here's the door panel in the back with the Lariat package. You got the wood trim right here. And then we do get the leather seats here with the Lariat. You've got the perforations in the center portion of the seats as well. And then you can see we've got the cup holders over here. You've got the areas where you can charge devices. And then you can see the under seat storage with this particular one. And yeah, that's everything for the back on this used Tremor. Now coming over to the front, we've got the leather padding right here in this area. And then notice we've got the wood trim that pops just down below. And we've got all of our window controls right here with the mirror adjustments. And then also does have the mirror extender. Blind spot monitoring on top of that. Memory seats just down below that. And then here are the seats at the front. So again, we've got the leather seats, perforated leather here in the center portion. Got the adjustments there on the side of the seat. Pedals down below, and then we've got our parking brake release right here. The pedal adjustments, that's for the tailgate light controls. Mirror lights on either side, and then we've got the adjustment for the steering wheel, and there's one more look before we pop in. Now we're just gonna briefly go over the interior here with the Tremor. So we've got the leather wrapped steering wheel volume controls on that side and then the controls for the center stack on the other side. And we do have our cruise control. And then we've got the column shifter here with the drive mode select and then the gear select. And they got the stock there for the turn signal on the other side. And then here is the gauge cluster. Notice this Tremor only has 665 miles on it. And then we do have a few different drive modes right there. So you've got your normal mode, your tow haul, eco, slippery, deep snow and sand, and then we've got a rock crawl. And then also something that I did not know before is if we press the stability control twice, then that'll actually put you into the sport mode, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that. John Jenks taught that to me. So if you're gonna buy a Ford, you should probably buy it from Jenks because he knows random stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's everything for the gauge cluster. And then if you're wanting that stability control buttons right here, and then we've got our diesel exhaust brake, we've got the hazard lights right there. We've got the off-road cruise control, lane departure, and then this is for the camera system. So notice that we've got the bed camera that you can basically pop on via that. And if we pop it into reverse, you've got the backup camera right there and then you can zoom in with that as well. And as for the rest of the infotainment system, response time on it is great, easy to use. Analog controls are just down below it. And then we have this charging area and then we've got more analog controls for like the climate system down here, 
It's got heated and cooled seats. And then we've got our drive line select with the locker for the rear, trailer brake controls. And then we've got more wood trim, which covers up the wireless phone charger, extra storage with some cup holders. And then just has the regular center console. And then here with the glove boxes, all that, pretty normal. And then you've got the leather and the dash that comes with the Lariat package. And then finishing things up top, auxiliary switches, power sliding window. And then this one does not have the sunroof as an option. And then universal garage door openers. So if you want the most up-to-date pricing on this particular used Tremor, then go check out Larry H. Miller, Ford, Lincoln, and Provo's website in the description down below. And yeah, let's take it out and see how it drives. Gotta love the off-road side steps. So let's show the visibility. We've got the visibility over the hood through both of the mirrors. And then the rest of the rear with the tremor and let's just set off. We are setting off here in the tremor and I've got it in that sport mode for today's review because well, I've never driven one of these heavy duty trucks in the sport mode. So I thought it'd be interesting to again, drive it around in that drive mode. feels good to be back in a diesel truck. It's been quite some time. Wow, that's impressive. So it actually puts down the power way better in this sport track mode. It doesn't do like in the normal mode, it's like constantly cutting power and kind of spinning a little bit, but this, it just puts down the power. And that is, yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, if you want to, if you want to be able to put down the power in this, in your super duty, then yeah, definitely do that mode. That is, that is for sure worth it. Now, as for this Tremor package, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the package because it looks cool and I'm always all about off-road vehicles. Let's kind of see how this does again. Yeah, it's it's just not slipping out. And I mean, that wasn't as full throttle as before, but yeah, really not slipping out. And then this little bump right here will really show you guys with the suspension. Yeah, you still do get a little bit of back and forth of the back end because it's a heavy duty truck with leaf springs, but compared to like your normal run of the mill heavy duty truck, it actually rides pretty smooth. And I better put a little bit more in terms of mileage on this because right now we're at 666, which is kind of unlucky. So hopefully we get to like 667, right? <laughs> um, but aside from that, it's yeah, really smooth for a heavy duty truck. You don't get a ton of noise from the tires, but you do get a little bit more noise from these tires compared to the stock ones that normally come with a Super Duty. So just kind of understand that and expect that. And also it is a bigger truck. So like squeezing through little stuff like that, it can do it right, but it's a little bit of a tight fit. So just kind of understand things from that perspective. Uh, but it actually doesn't feel too massive. It's actually relatively easy to drive. And I literally haven't driven a truck in like two weeks at this point. And so this is like going from like tiny little cars to a big truck, um, but it's, it's, it's really not difficult to drive. And something that I love about the Fords is the steering. Uh, it's very light, but then it's got a nice amount of directness to it. And so it definitely lends to a really easy driving experience just because of how the steering is. And yeah, that'll get me to sign things up with this uh, particular Tremor, right? And then the Tremor package overall. So first off, if you've got the money for the Tremor package and if you can find one, I definitely recommend it. Resale value on these has been fantastic. And so that's definitely a huge plus with them. They look amazing. You've got the extra capability and they've got really good road presence. Like whenever people see these because of the stance of the truck and because of the Tremor name, people just absolutely go bananas over them, especially when they're in uh, bright colors like this, obviously, but also when they're in like something like the Lariat package where everything's blacked out, looks really, really good uh, from an aesthetic perspective. Um, and then obviously interior wise, it's a Lariat. So it's really nice. It's nice to have the air conditioned seat. The leather seats are very comfortable. The cushioning is very comfortable as well. So that is all really good. I guess the most exciting part of this review was learning about that sport traction mode, because again, it just, it puts down the power. It really does. And that's kind of difficult with these super duties because they've got so much horsepower now and they've got, you know, over a thousand pound feet of torque. And so it's, it's hard to put down the power with this truck. And so the fact that well, it's got that drive mode that it actually will put down the power. I think it's pretty cool. We're gonna get one more acceleration and then I guess that'll cap things off for the video. Okay, it did spin a little bit there, but still so much better than when you just have all the computers on. Like it just, I don't know, it just does magic in that sport traction mode. So again, if you guys don't know, 
So we got advanced track on, all you do is just press it twice and then that'll put the sport mode on. And then if you guys don't know with the uh, Fords, I guess the other thing I'll show you that I knew prior is if we just hold the traction control button on for about 10 seconds, then it'll turn everything off and if we floor it, Ooh, gets a little gets a little bit squirrely, but still puts down the power great. So if you want to have fun, trash control button secrets, I guess, in today's video. Now let's get something's up for a video on this used F350 Tremor. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with the Tremor. Check out the inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.